Hi everyone, welcome back to my tutorial. I am Manshadar watching your tech and coding channel, my code works. So guys, in this video, we are going to see how to store a particular JSON response while coming from API endpoint. When we hit any API endpoint, we are going to store the particular JSON response in a file. So basically the code. Hi everyone, welcome back to my tutorial. I am Manshadar watching your tech and coding channel, my code works. So guys, today we are going to see how to store a particular API endpoint JSON response to a file. So we are going to store the particular JSON in JSON file, okay? So let's start and let's directly jump into the Eclipse today without any delay. So I'm going to hit the particular endpoint here that is create a user and we are going to store this data, right? So we are going to store this JSON response to a JSON file. So basically we are going to work on how to store the JSON response, right, in file. So we have this data, right? If I say this data, and we are going to store it as a JSON file, okay? So we are going to do one thing. We are going to store as a JSON file. Response dot JSON, okay? So which will, and if I directly paste it here, then this data will be inside this one, okay? This data will come inside this file. Okay. We are going to store this. Now let's directly jump into the Eclipse. Okay. Okay. So we are going to use this CLI and this CLI I will copy paste it here. But uh, what I will do, let's do one thing. I will create one more package. Not it here. I will directly create here. Okay, save JSON file. Okay, and uh, then I will create. Sorry, I will create this one class store in JSON file. Okay, now inside this, I will copy paste this one. I don't need to do anything. What I will do, I just copy paste this test method and I will make some editing here, okay? So what I will do, I will just copy paste it here and I don't want this response, I will remove this code and then I don't want this response, I will use this user, but what I will do, I will use extract as a response, okay? Response, response, R-E-S-P-O-N-S-E, response, okay? And let's import this response. Okay, so here extract as response, we have method called response. It will give us a extractable response. Okay, it will return. And before that, let me import this response. Where is this? Why it is showing some error? So, uh, response. Okay, let's do one thing. I will write your response. Okay, so now we are able to store it as a response. And what I will do? I will store this JSON response to a file, right? So for that, let's write the code. So first thing we have to convert the given, uh, the, the JSON that we'll receive, okay? So we are going to store it in a response string, JSON string, okay? And response, response dot, as split string or as JSON string, you can use, okay? As a string also you can use, I'm going to use this one, okay? So I will write a code here, write to a file, JSON file. Okay, right to a JSON file. <clears throat> so here we are going to deal with the uh, file, right? So I'm going to try my code in try cache. That will be better option. Otherwise, sometimes the file is not present or sometimes we'll get the, some exception. So that try and cache will handle, okay? So I always try to open <clears throat> the file in try block, okay? So let's provide the file writer here, file writer. We have a uh, library <clears throat> file writer, fr equals to new file writer, writer, and inside that we are going to provide the particular file name. So if file is not present, it will create a file with the date, that name and it will be in mode of file data mode, okay? So what I'm going to do, uh, user response dot JSON, okay? User response dot JSON, let's provide with the block here and with the same, let's provide the cache block. IO exception, we have one IO exception here. 
input output exception that is mean and let's print the e dot print stack 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 trace okay so what we are going to do is let's import the file writer here i will import from java.io input output okay so what i'm going to do i'm going to write this json string to the file that fr so we have method called fr dot append or directly let's find out some method that will help us to write the particular json string to the file so if you see downside write method is there which will take a string okay so i'm going to use this one f dot write and the json string okay now that's it that's it we don't we are not going to do anything and okay so the part dot close we can do file will be closed once we dot we are going to close the file and what we are going to do is we are going to check the file whether we are able to store all the json response or not okay so i'm going to run the code particularly and then we'll see so before that i will annotate this using test okay so let me import this okay let's uh, import this or annotate with the test and now i will hit on run button and let's see whether we are able to generate the user response dot json or not as even provided uh, the directory where it will store so the base directory it will take and it will store there so if you haven't subscribed my youtube channel please do subscribe and click on bell icon for more updates as as you can see we have executed this scenario and now we are able to pass and uh, if i refresh this as you can see we are not able to get this user response dot json but if i refresh this now and we should get the json so let's refresh this project and if you see here downside we got this user response dot json if i click on this or double click on this then you can see that we got the json stored in this file so today it is all about how to uh, store the particular json response coming from api endpoint to a json file thanks for watching this video guys if you are able to do this and please if you got any issue or if you stuck somewhere please let me in the comment section i will try to help you out and uh, please please guys support me and uh, click on bell icon so that you will get more and more videos at early as possible when i upload thanks for watching this video thanks for providing support and love and all happy coding we'll meet in next video with new content till then bye bye